Hello, sister. Calderon. Brother Dorkins and I were talking about you just the other day and hoping we would see you again. How is Brother Dorkins? Oh, he's quite well. A little frustrated with the workings of our order. He keeps trying to be sent overseas, you know, do something with more challenge, maybe uh, be a missionary. He's a lovely man. Sure. And how are you? <laughs> Never better. Are you sure? Uh, I'm quite sure, sister. You know, a long time ago, I was like you. I very much doubt that. Oh, no, I did terrible things, awful things. And I could not stop doing terrible things because I did not believe that goodness existed. And then one day, I saw that love did exist. And ever since then, doing bad things became, well, not impossible, but pff, ridiculous. I guess I'm just hoping for a, a dignified exit. I shall pray for you. Oh, I'm not a religious man, sister. <laughs> I'm an outlaw. <laughs> oh, what fun. Religion is just a word. Hearts are rarely pure, but equally they are rarely impure either. Well, that's an interesting way of putting it. <laughs> to me, God is people and people are God, so we must all do what we can. These people are starving. Go find them some food. Don't worry so much about your heart. The actions will lead, and the heart follows. I'll still think of you in very nasty terms, as you wish. Please, men. All right, you know what, sister? I've got some money on me right now. You can. Buy some food with this. Oh, you're so wonderful, Mr. Morgan. No, that ain't true. I meant wonderful, but so very frightening. Exactly. Consider your good deed done for the day. I won't subject you to any more benevolence. Sister Ethel makes a fabulous stew. They will be so happy. Come on. The thing is, Sadie, I really can't. I must come. He's my husband. I know he's your husband, but it's going to be. Well, it's going to be violent. I insist. Insist all you like. Ain't happening. Arthur, tell her. Tell her what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But... But nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, why well, ain't the crime sort, but I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you. Thank you both. All right, here goes nothing. The place is surrounded by marshland. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find a spot to look for John. This time of day, prisoners will probably be working the fields. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. Uh, how many times, Marston? We good? Uh. Let's head for that watchtower. Okay. Stay low.
Where's John? Grab that raffle. You can use the scope. I can't see anything with standing there. Hey, I think I see him. There's a group in front of that barn to our right. Oh, yeah. I see two guards. Okay, take them out. And let's go get our boy. Okay. Wait, shit. I don't think that was John. Well, let's go over there and see. Okay. Come on. I think one of those guards was still moving. Arthur, let's keep moving. Where is he? You see him? No. You, <laughs> mister. You know John Marsden? I, he ain't, he ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. No. You put the gun down. Now. <laughs> Where's John Marston? Uh, uh, he ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go and get him together. Try anything, I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes, very clear. Oh, no, you don't. Come on, partner. <clears throat> Hey, why don't you apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? I said apologize. I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? Uh, he's been quite an exacting no. boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're... they're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. So, you a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Someone in there actually gives a damn about this fool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. Don't shoot! Stay down! Okay, friend, be cool now. Just do as I say. Put the weapons down, now! Is Jameson in? He's inside, Denis. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Milliken, is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four Oh, or so? very funny. Now, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12, 13, Faster. 14, 15, 16, Now, hurry up. 18, well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. And over what? For nothing. 
Hey, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on. Don't cry, buddy. I don't want to die. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey, hey, John. Oh, you too? Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Medican here will stop crying once and for all. Okay. Today's your lucky day. Let's go. <laughs> Some fellas coming here don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys, let's move. I'll roll. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You, you're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them. It can still handle it. Thanks. Keep them off us. You're done. I think I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up. They're going to be on our tails soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told, Dan. Hey, Arthur. Thank you. 
Don't mention it. Let's go. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real somehow. All them years. Arthur. He was like... Like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny too. No. What a goddamn mess. And did we... What about... The, the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It's the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait, you're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> you're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Roanoke Ridge, and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah. Seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead, too. Jesus. Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And, uh, I should warn you, Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so... Might not be the hero's welcome, you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. Dutch ain't himself right now. Or maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Huh. Guess not. Told you we would. John! What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Yes. And when Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then? Arthur. Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty. Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! John. John. You are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They... They was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was... Talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. Thinking of, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth.
J. John Weathers. They call me Snow Goose now. Whatever they call you. You borrowed money off of Leopold Strauss. The bills come due. This ain't the best time, sir. This ain't the best time for anyone. Mr. Strauss knew it was a long-term proposition. The debt is due. OK. I got supplies meant to last through the winter. You can take them. Just is there any way you can help me? I stay out here. There won't be anyone to pay you. I ain't here to help. I'm here to collect. We're all, all of us up against it. Look, there's men after me. <laughs> They're killers. I ain't a deserter, just an objector. It ain't right. If there was another way than running, I need your help. Shut up. Please. I... Up here, it's him. It's too late. Form up, we shoot on sight. I clear off, sir. Ah, shit. Well, seeing as I'm here, I'll, I'll do what I can for you. probably still save something. Really now? Look, you can take the silver locket for the debt. Damn the debt. Just get her somewhere safe. Go on. Thank you, fella. You know, there ain't enough kindness in this world, that's for sure. But you... I don't know nothing about kindness. 